it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and it is time for a Technique Tuesday for Scraps and Ink Crafts. And my technique today is I am going to do some embossing. I love to watch embossing. I don't do it enough. And so I decided I was going to take a couple of stamp sets from the shop. So I picked... Um, oh, the park tag first, and I did the tag and a couple of icons like the Mickey head and the camera and a couple of other things. And I'm using some champagne, uh, embossing ink. I've never used this one before. Um, it's from M boss from imagine it's called sparkling champagne and it is super, super fine. So, um, I'm going to emboss that and then I am going to take the, let me find it. It's the one with the castle. It's super cool. I love how the castle turned out. I think that is my absolute favorite. Oh, it's right here on my desk still. And that one, you can actually see the magic happen. Thank goodness. Um, so it's uh, dreams come true. And then I also did the uh, fairy dust stamp set, which is like one of my favorites. And I fussy cut them all out. Now I did the fairy dust stamp twice. And I'm going to use that to back my photos. And then I am using a, I think it's Cartabella collection. It is called, oh no, it's Echo Park. And it's called A Magical Place. So that is the papers that I'm looking for. I'm doing two photos of the Fantasmic show. And I'm not going to end up using the actual tag portion, just the top. So I'm going to put the tag up there. I'm going to add my little castle to the bottom. And then my embossed word phrases are going to go on the side. Now, I felt like it was pretty dark, even though the photos are dark too, because it was taken at night. But I decided that I would take uh, this red paper. Originally, I thought I wanted yellow, but when I looked at the yellow, it was just not the right color. So instead, I am going to... Do the red and I'm going to do a torn portion on the top and bottom. I'm also going to add this two pack of the white Mickey patches on either side. And then I'm going to use this acrylic piece. It has love and I think like three Mickey heads. So I'm going to get the red one up at the top, as well as an acrylic piece that says this magical moment. So all of those will be in the shop. Now I'm going through this sticker book. This is what's from Cartabella and it's called Believe in Magic. And it had a sticker that had the boat, which is what the sparklers were coming off of, but it brought in this bright green and all I could see was that sticker. So the sticker is not going to make it. I do get a couple of stickers on. I'm going to get a ticket and a tab that says happy and a little camera and then I'm going to add some twine to my embossed tag 
and I'm also going to add twine to the bottom of my layout along with some glitter washi that's kind of been sitting on my desk. Now I did put that scallop border up at the top, but for some reason I'm not liking it. Like I look at it now and I, I think it looks okay. Um, but I, I, for some reason wasn't liking it. So I'd love to know, do you think I should put that border on back on where it is or just kind of leave it be? So here is that washi tape. Uh, it is not sticky. <laughs> Um, so it's just kind of hanging out, uh, cause it is taped on the back of this layout along with the twine. And I just use washi tape to do that. So I'm going to just do two more additional touches. So I decided to take some more of that twine. Um, so that red and white twine, my uh, design team packet is actually uh, wrapped in it. So <laughs> I thought it would be fun to use it on the layout today. So I'm gonna just do a little bow. And then I realize, oh, I really like that bow, but it's not really standing out. So I went into my stash of bows from the bows and crowns and I'm going to pull, I really wanted to use this acrylic one, uh, but the two reds weren't, weren't good. So I'm going to go with a black and white bow and I'm going to add it down there. You see, I, I threw in several options, but the black and white is what I'm going to go with but I'm not going to let that mini polka dot one uh, make its way off my table. I decided to actually put that on the patch. Doesn't that look so cute? I just love how this turned out. Uh, so fun. Uh, I just need all of these goodies in my life. So I do have lots and lots of um, close-ups for you of all of the acrylic pieces of the bows and of course all of the bits and pieces that I did the embossing with so I hope that you have enjoyed this layout and encourage you to do some embossing so that is going to do it for me today Use my code CRYSTALB15 to save 15% in the shop and remember to wear your crystal.